hello my dear students i'm back with the last part of the chapter deep water and this is an excerpt from of men and mountains which is written by william douglas where he mentions all the adventurous things that he did in his childhood students let us quickly recapitulate what we have learned in last chapter we have seen william douglas was totally paralyzed by the fear of water and he could not enjoy canoeing fishing boating rafting etc which others could do and we know that he is very adventurous by nature and another quality that we get to see out here is that he is a very determined person therefore in order to defeat fear what he did he uh, kept an instructor okay he engaged an instructor and that in instructor taught william Tuck douglas all the techniques of swimming he was very competent professionally because he understood the gravity of william douglas problem all right and the intensity of the terror that gripped him at this situation the instructor had to be very much conscientious and with tremendous care he had to handle the case now here being very meticulous he processed okay uh, very methodically and gave his pupil security which was very much needed because every time he had fear of getting drawn inside the water okay so his body was tied with the help of a rope and he controlled the pulley so there was no problem of william douglas all right and he started learning the techniques one after the other and this is what instructor had done regularly and religiously teacher and the student practiced and finally he was able to conquer his fear and uh, instructor said after six months that he was ready with all the techniques all right now william douglas had to test it whether he is victorious over fear or not but very soon he proved that his instructor's confidence is not ill placed at all whatever instructor had thought about william douglas he proved to be true so students till here we had done in last chapter let us move ahead yet i had residual doubts at my first opportunity i hurried west went up to the titan to conrad meadows up the conrad creek trail to mead glacier and camped in the high meadow by the side of the warm lake the next morning i stripped dived into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back just as dog corpron used to do i shouted with joy and gilbert peak returned the echo i had conquered my fear of water students life teaches us so many things it never stops giving new challenges to human beings now if we keep ourselves confined or pented in some place okay in order to safeguard ourselves from those challenges then we will never move ahead we will never learn we will never have experience this is what we get to see from william douglas life now another thing that we need to see is that human beings are not well trained by their birth in this world only we learn so many things and our life is full of fear full of insecurities but we should keep all these insecurities at bay otherwise we will not be able to live our life happily because in our life fear will never stop today we can conquer fear of something okay the very next day another fear will crop up therefore we should not avoid fear rather we should accept it by challenging all right and with our courage with our valor we should be able to deal with that fear and the same is seen in william douglas as well he had defeated fear now what he did um, after getting trained by instructor he wanted to try whether he is able to swim alone or not to check that he went to 
Conrad Meadows, Conrad Creek Trail to uh, Gilbert Peak, okay, to Titan River, to Bumping River, everywhere. Because, see, all these places are shown because each and every place will have different challenges. You cannot compare River Tista with River uh, Ganga, okay, because Ganga's course is different. Tista's course is different. It is its structure is different okay its current is different therefore he went to different places okay different water bodies rather to check whether he was able or not now after that he found that he was able to swim without the help of instructor as well now he was very much confident and it is said that he wanted to copy a very famous swimmer from yakima county itself and his name is dog corporal okay he is very famous basically he is a family physician but apart from being a doctor he was a swimmer as well i'm talking about dog corporal okay who was his ideal finally we see william douglas achieving his goal and it has happened because of his adamant determination undeterred single mindedness and relentless efforts Okay, so we need to learn lesson from his life. Oh, he was able to go to different beautiful places nearby his place. That is Gilbert Peak, uh, Goat Rock, Titan River, Bumping River, etc. He could go alone in any of the places and enjoy because he was now a confident man. Okay, rather than a timid and fearful child who feared water. The experience had a deep meaning for me, as only those who have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate. In death, there is peace. There is terror only in the fear of death. As Roosevelt knew when he said, all we have to fear is fear itself because I had experienced both the sensation of dying and the terror that fear of it can produce. The will to live somehow grew in intensity. At last, I felt released, free to walk the trails and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear. Students, here William Douglas says that the person who was in that tragedy they can better explain the situation and the example is writer himself he can explain what was the scenario inside the pool okay how terrorized he had become and when he tried it was very painful remember students whenever we work to achieve something it would be very painful okay but if we give up if we stop working least bothering about the result then it will not harm you at all because you don't have to follow a particular routine you don't have to work hard you don't have to prepare yourself for some goal so william douglas tells us that when he was trying to save himself that was the situation which was very troublesome for him but when he uh, could not do anything and that particular moment was very peaceful therefore he says in death there is peace okay when we give up when we surrender ourselves to death then it will be very peaceful but not when we try to fight with death okay at that time we will have tension we will have to uh, work all right we have to make a strategy physically also we have to work therefore it is said now he remembered the words of roosevelt franklin roosevelt okay who was president of us all we have to fear is fear itself because i have already told you many times that it is fear which stops us from achieving our happiness and for william douglas happiness was uh, related to water for us it could be something else but we have to win over our fear students do you remember the quote from Julius Caesar, which I had uttered at the starting of the chapter. 
which is cowards die many times while the brave test death but once okay and it becomes meaningful out here when roosevelt says all we have to fear is fear itself because when we fear uh, death we die numerous times but the confident one the courageous one will die only once so students at last i would say we must always be prepared enough to take fears and failures as well and beat them with strong determination with our firm determination because fear is never ending all right students i'll give you one name and please you search in google and find out what was her life and how how she surmounted out of it her name is arunima sinha students we should salute the single mindedness of william douglas because he not only accomplished what he wanted in his life uh, as a adventurous person but he became very much successful in career as well because he was one of the members in court of justice in us students i hope you got some inspiration from douglas life now we will meet in next video thank you for watching